After Cinco opened up in a Pasco County neighborhood, the county is talking about what to do there now at a community meeting. Good evening, I'm John Sable. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Serena Fazan. That's sinkhole swallowing a chunk of road and condemning multiple homes. Our Ashley Yor joins us live from Lando Lakes. And Ashley, what are neighbors' biggest concerns right now? Serena, people want to know how much fixing this is going to cost and who's paying for it. Take a look. As you can see, this is still a major problem for people living nearby. There is absolutely no way to get through here. At today's meeting, about 150 people who live in or around the Lake Paget Estates neighborhood showed up, many voicing their opinions about the options to fix the sinkhole. Two ideas were most popular. One, fixing the road back to the way it was with water on either side and a fence around both bodies of water. That price tag, around $800,000. The other popular idea, fill the sinkhole and completely restore it without water there, but that price estimate, significantly more, eight to $12 million. Two other ideas involved building cul-de-sacs and connecting the sinkhole to the lake. It seems to me it's pretty obvious that since the county is responsible for the roads and the road is broke, that the county would be responsible to fix the road. And that is, of all the options on the table, the most sensible to me. Now, keep in mind, nothing can be decided without the two property owners directly affected here working with the county. All of the thoughts shared at today's meeting will go to the Board of County Commission. Next, the county will get a geotechnical survey done to find out if a road can be rebuilt. If it can, we're looking at six to eight months before there's a road here. Now, pretty much everyone agreed on one thing. People who live here want a road back somehow. But if you missed today's meeting, don't worry. There is another meeting coming up on Wednesday. We have all those details on our website, abcactionnews.com. Reporting live here in Land O'Lakes, I'm Ashley Yor, ABC Action News.